you've got a lot of linear dimensions to do and you're tired of using the tried and true caliper method or you don't want to have to bring it all the way to the CMM. Maybe there's a backlog there, but you need to get accurate measurements because you know without being able to accurately measure, you can't even ensure the work's been done. Today I'm going to show you a little bit more about the Mitotoyo linear height system. Let's check it out. As you can see here, there's a couple options when it comes to these gauges. I'm going to go over a video that shows some of the parts and the function that this can do for you. I've got a video queued up. We're going to check it out as it runs. You can see here it's moving automatically, a big step up from a height gauge. There's also a big difference between the accuracy comparing it to a standard height gauge. And we'll get into the technical details later in the video. This probe will automatically go up and down. It'll trace just like that with a little bit of hand movement to ensure that you're always getting the high point and the low point in your bores. And then it starts to string it together on the control. It's gonna go through a bunch of different ones. As you can see, the part here is a perfect example. It allows you to go position to position. It's gonna get you the center line of all of those holes. It's gonna get you the diameters. It's really that simple. You'll notice that they are hand assisting right here. It has a set of air bearings that allow it to glide. Uh, <laughs> I've used a couple. My first concern when I tried this gauge was, am I gonna Full, like float this thing right off the edge of a table. Thankfully, they've got a protection system to prevent that. The pads underneath, once one comes off, the rest no longer make contact and it stops floating. So you can save yourself from dumping this off the inspection table. As you see that they just did right there was a quick probe change, which is another great advantage to having this system is the diversity of the styli that's available, similar to a CMM where you can change and use multiple different points here with this cone point you can literally just wiggle in find your center position go to the next one wiggle in find your center position if the whole size isn't something you want to inspect in the process there's that button I was talking about literally you just touch it and it goes in this is another function of the machine. You can bring a dial in, zero your dial out. If you've got a digital dial, it's gonna talk right to the controller. They're just punching in the programming, the length of the stroke of this dial. As you can see on the control, it has the GD and T call out for perpendicularity. Now, without going to the CMM, you can start to verify and measure other critical components right on the shop floor. And just like that, it's done. They've got a bunch of different ways to capture the data. You can do Bluetooth out. You can go out to a printer there's a lot of ways to ensure you get this uh, because no one wants to have to take pen and paper to an inspection report these days i'm going to post a link to this video as well as another in the comments below check those out if you want more detailed information here you can see some of the stats i was talking about repeatability within two tenths a standard height gauge is only going to give you a repeatability of two thou motor driven automatics frictionless travel through the air bearings i was discussing and mentioning the power grip activation which means the moment you let go the air bearings shut off which is a great safety feature again to prevent that tipping <laughs> it's got a great touch interface here's some of the styli options the different types of material so you can have your ruby or your steel that's been a little bit about the linear height system the lh600 unit from Mitotoyo. thank you for the time you took to watch this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to share and i'll see you next time until then keep your spindles turning and earning